Martinez from John Sporting Goods and I'm going to take you out into the Straits of Juan de Fuca today with Derek Floyd and Tom Nelson and we're going to show you three different methods to catch halibut while you're anchored up. You're going to see that there's three, I don't want to call them distinct different methods, but uh, different baits that we're going to catch halibut on and what you're going to find is that they all work. So you're going to see us catch some fish on three different baits and I think you're going to enjoy uh, the latitude in the types of gear and the types of bait that you can use and I encourage you to try all three because they're very very effective so let's go out fishing right now. So uh, basically I got a little safety line tied on my anchor right here as soon as I let it go and clear it I can drop it. Got, uh, got our buddy Derek inside he's uh, letting us know when we're on a little contour he wants to drop on it. What's our target water? We're we looking for 130? Yeah 130, 140. Yeah 130, 140 so you know we may let out as much as 160, 170 feet um, of rope here. We got 35, uh, 35 feet of chain on, on this particular anchor set. We got this rock, nice rock. Now down she goes. How you doing? This here uh, chum bag. We're running it off the downrigger to try to attract a few fish over in our direction. Got some tuna bellies in here. Um, we've got uh, a scent bag which is made up of, of, of hatchery pellets. We're going to drop another one of those in here. We just picked it up to freshen it up and of course one of the things that uh, good not just for shrimp bait but also maybe attract some halibut is this bumblebee mackerel and what we're going to do is throw the whole can in here. We don't want to let fine cooked fish to come out so we're just going to get a good cut on that can a little more than halfway top and bottom and then set that sucker in there and it will leach out slowly and you won't lose it all at once so uh, there we go add that can right there and that smells good enough to eat right there zip that thing back up then we'll take this and a zip tie double it over so we don't lose it drop it down on the downrigger and, and uh, that's how we're putting a scent trail down there and hopefully the halibut are going to catch wind of it and come join us show you some different regs that are effective for fishing for halibut when you're anchored up. We're anchored up in 129 feet of water. On my pole I have a spreader bar and I have a white squid, 7 inch squid with about an 18 inch leader and I have a herring and if you notice I have that herring tied on with stretchy string and I have it tied up with two 10 aught gamakatsu hooks. So I'm going to attach anywhere from 12 to 24 ounces of lead to this rig. I'm going to let it off the bottom. And the key to catching these fish is do not let the weight just sit on the bottom and tumble. Bring it off the bottom just a little bit and wait for the halibut to come along. Should be somewhere between 30 and 50 pounds. Oh, this is a great fish. Boy, he put up a heck of a fight. All right, so here's a little different rig than John's. What I did was I took a 7-inch squid, and I thread it on backwards. It almost creates a little umbrella effect, just something different, so you give that a shot. We actually have a really short leader here, uh, and then what we've got is a couple octopus-style 7 knot hooks on a double rig setup. And then all I'm going to really do is just take one salmon belly, and I'm going to rig it on the upper hook. I just grab about an inch of meat to come through the skin and again different than John's he used thread I'm not I'm just letting it hang and that's it and that's what we just caught the last halibut on right there we get right back down and boom another one two minutes later here he is he's gonna be a keeper Okay, one of the ways we want to put a dependable bait down is we're going to go ahead and wrap it. So i got a horse herring here with a little bit of octopus tentacle. really love octopus tentacle. This is stretchy thread. So what we're going to do here, we're all gloved up because this, this kind of gets messy. We're just going to, we got that octopus pinned through the hook. It's kind of holding that herring on the hook. And then we're just going to kind of go right down the herring with the stretchy thread. And we're going to finish off with a, with a couple of half hitches holding that octopus tight to there. And hope, what we're hoping is... Some guy comes along and starts nipping on the very tail end of that octopus and works himself right up to the hook. So we're going to get this thing all set down and uh, see if we can't make that happen for us.
How can it possibly be sexier than that? Oh. Tom, that fish almost tore the rod holder <laughs> off the boat. <laughs> I tell you what, that's a nice fish right there. 60 feet, Tom Nelson. Yeah, I hear you. Baby, he's there. Oh, is he? Yep. He's close. Yep, he's there. He's there. 